Ball State University, nestled in America's heartland in Muncie, Indiana, is home to a well-known College of Communication, Information, and Media, which counts many graduates among the upper ranks in U.S. media companies. But Ball State is also home to one of the most advanced virtual studio systems in the world. The green screen background and floor in the studio can, with a click of a button, be transformed into a three-dimensional set. Key components in Ball State's virtual studio system are the manually encoded pedestals and pan and tilt heads from Vinton Radimek. The Quattro SE pedestals and Vector 950E pan and tilt heads not only provide Vinton's classic operational feel to the camera operator, but also provide feedback to the virtual studio system with incredible positional accuracy. One million data points through 360 degrees of pan and tilt and comparable accuracy in elevation and floor tracking feedback. Such accuracy in positional reporting is critical to selling the viewer on the idea he's watching a real set, not a 3D computer image being rendered from a CPU. Ball State 3D creative director Jason Higgs explains. Um, you really, you want to try and sell it as much as possible. So having all of that data come through, um, being able to make large camera moves and not have your practical objects slide around, along a floor or being able to see virtual objects and practical objects moving in the same 3D space, it's, I mean, it's extremely important to sell that. During its virtual studio learning curve, the Teleplex at Ball State had tried a solution that did not rely on encoding pedestals and pan tilt heads. They had limited success. Uh, we initially started with a, um, uh, a grid system, grid-based uh, IR tracking um, based off of points that were placed on the camera. Um, and we found that we couldn't get close enough to the talent that we wanted to get to. Um, we couldn't make those striking moves without <coughs> being limited to what the, uh, what the camera could see within the grid. That sent Ball State's team shopping for a better working solution. Ball State senior broadcast engineer, Glenn Schick. Once we saw the, the the Vinton pedestal, we said, we got to have that. It just uh, gave us more production flexibility. We knew we wanted that. Ball State's virtual studio system teams the Vinton Radimek encoding camera support units with Fujinon digital zoom lenses, ORAD rendering platform, and Ultimat 11 blue-green screen compositing hardware. Uh, all the parties came together and worked because they knew this was what we, we wanted to do. A key element in the system is the Vinton Radimek Virtual Reality Interface, or VRI, box. Besides routing camera positional data from the pedestals and pan and tilt heads, the VRI box inputs raw zoom and focus encoder data from the Fujinon lenses, multiplexing pan, tilt, elevation, pedestal tracking, zoom and focus into a single data stream which is sent to the ORAD rendering engine. Ball State's virtual studio system has not only given the university bragging rights, it has started to pay dividends. A studio can become a choke point at a production facility, where the physical set construction and move in and move out takes up valuable time during which video production cannot take place. Using virtual sets has allowed the Ball State Teleplex studios to move more quickly from one production to the next. You're talking minimal setup time. Once once post or once pre-production is figured out, uh, then it's just a matter of putting up a set, having your cameras in position, having your lights done, you're ready to bring talent on, take care of business. Um, if the set needs to be changed, it's something that can be brought right down, new set can be put in, go right on, keep moving. You're losing a whole day of set uh, placement as well as set strike. Um, because at this point you're using very few practical pieces and all virtual pieces. Key to being able to maximize use of the virtual studio system is the Teleplex staff's ability to move cameras between the smaller 30 by 40 foot green screen studio to the main 40 by 60 foot full coved psych studio and to quickly home and initialize the pedestals, heads, and lenses. The process takes place on homing marks on the studio floor with the operator following instructions from a PDA device attached to the pedestal. And the process can be completed by non-technical studio personnel. We, you know, the students can do it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the, the PDA that's on the pedestals will guide you through 
what you need to do. I mean, you know, it's, so it's a matter of reading what it says to do and, and doing it. With all the virtual studio emphasis on incredibly precise positional data from the integrated encoders, it should not be forgotten that operators of the studio equipment benefit from the legendary touch and feel of Vinton studio pedestals and pan tilt heads. First introduced 60 years ago at the dawn of the television age, company founder William Vinton invented the pneumatic pedestal that revolutionized television production. Constant improvements throughout the years have kept Vinton an industry favorite. Within a few months of the installation of the virtual studio system, the Ball State Teleplex had produced their annual PBS fundraiser, an on-air auction, and a pilot for a cable channel program that's now in regular production at the facility. During the same weeks as those productions took place, the Teleplex was able to fulfill its obligation to the university's student productions. Three-dimensional virtual sets for the student productions are created by students in the university's College of Architecture and Planning with input from the program's producers and directors. Students from the College of Communication, Information, and Media then get virtual studio experience available to few students at other academic institutions. Our biggest hopes uh, for graduates that come out of uh, Ball State are that they have a leg up. If they're able to match up with other students that are out there and then say, oh, well, I've also worked in a virtual set environment, you know, that definitely gives them a leg up on things. Oh, 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 oh,